Baby, won't you come my way? Mmm. What's Fuchi and your Louis YouTube? It's your girl Chef Kid back in action for episode five. So today we're gonna be making something that I have concocted yet again. And it's because I wanted some peach cobbler. Of course, I summoned my mom, she was like, no. Nah. So I was like, you know what, fine. But then all of a sudden I had a craving for some French toast. So then I was like, what could I do? So I said, self. And self said, what? And then I said, let's create something, some new new for the people. And it's gonna be some scrum dillyumptious stuffed French toast. And it's gonna be a peach cobbler stuffed French toast. So, you know, if you rocking and shocking, you better stay around. You already know the deal. We about to turn it over to the kitchen area, get them ingredients zapped in, and then we get busy. Ah. Okay, so we're in the kitchen. You already know, hair is tied up and everything. I decided to do something different. My hair is getting longer. When I started my lock journey, I literally was like in my ears. Now it's on my shoulders, so yeah. So I have to do crazy styles in between my retwist time, which it's time because I got some new girl. But I'm I'm rambling at this point. So I'm gonna do it a different way. How about this? Lean with it, rock with it, lean with it. So of course I'm forgetting one thing, my four eyes. So we got the ingredients that then we got some peaches. I already chopped them up. It's one fresh peach from the produce. We got some vanilla. I got the Mexican vanilla blend cause it just smack and it just add an extra element to, you know, the goods. We got a little nutmeg up in here. Got some cinnamon. Then we got milk, cause you're gonna need it for the French toast. Some bourbon. If you're not of age and cannot get bourbon, just exclude that part. I'm doing it because We'll get there. Got some sugar, pure sugar cane sugar at that. Butter, cause you, you gonna need it so it won't stick. One egg, or for my plant-based people, I believe it's like one teaspoon to a half teaspoon or something of that nature. I'll make sure I put it in the description below for the substitute egg, but you can use flaxseed and water and that'll be fine, that'll suffice. And it'll add some fiber and some extra good stuff to your French toast. And of course, we have the main event, thicker than a Snickers. You dig? Thick with three. I said, pick number three, my lord. Okay, thick with three C's. We got some French toast bread that I've already taken upon myself to split in half just a slight bit. Don't split it all the way down. You want it split enough where you can get in and do what you need to do. So yeah, and I got a French loaf at that. We got all these ingredients. Let me move them out the way per use. We're gonna put the hot plate in and we gonna catch up and have a good time. You already know how this goes. So I'm gonna take y'all to the next part. Okay, so we are back. Hot pan, you already know the damn vibes. So I'm gonna be turning on the hot pan so that way we can get the inside pieces caramelized and gorgeous and everything that you want it to be so that way you can insert it into that joint and boom okay waiting on this to get hot a little bit oh but i've been meaning to do something different too as a chef you only see like the aprons and the cute cutesy little you know chef clothing let me show y'all the fit look at this shirt Teen hearts, y'all Y'all got my heart with this one. Especially, I got other shirts from y'all, but just be nice. That's my whole aesthetic. That's, I, I tell people, just be nice. You know what I'm saying? And of course, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn the camera a little bit so that you guys can see the body, the lower half, with the J's on my feet, so get like me. 
we got the studio lights. Okay, so now that y'all have seen my fit, and I've gotten my apron back on, let me get my little antennas out the way, so that way I can actually see what I'm doing. Y'all know Chef Kid gotta be clean up in here. I don't play that. That's one thing for sure about me as a cook. I'm a clean cook, so you'll never have any moments of me doing some strange off the chain stuff that's a, something i want to teach you guys make sure you're staying clean while you're cooking because who wants to be in a dirty environment cooking mm -mm. absolutely not okay so the pan is blown this is what we're gonna do we gonna add some of this butter to this pan and get it started okay y'all already know i'll be at a different location shooting so this little letter opening night this is that, uh, that Ben Franklin letter opener, AKA my knife. So I'm gonna just be using like a little knob of butter. Let this get nice and melted in there. Ooh, we love the sizzle. Ooh, we love the sizzle. We love the sizzle. Don't mind me, don't mind me. But we letting the butter get nice and connected to the pan, nice and hot. I'm gonna move that to the side for a spill because we gonna need some more butter later. But we letting that get nice and melted. Y'all heard that. So now we taking these peaches. I bought them not too ripe at first. And that was for a reason because I was like, I know I'm not gonna immediately need them. So yeah, but now they're nice, ripe, juicy, sweet. Boom, we about to just add that whole thing. And like I said, it was a whole peach. So make sure you guys are using a whole peach. Depending upon how much you're trying to make though. If you're doing more than the three slices I showed you, because I might need another peach, who knows, but you already know, I try to do at least one so y'all can see it. But we letting this get nice and acquainted with the butter. And I might have, how much did I use? It looks like I used one tablespoon of butter. So yeah, I don't know how much that is in other countries. If other countries it's tuned and tapped in to Chef Kid, shout out to you guys if you are. Now I'm gonna bring into the chat, the bourbon, the sugar, the vanilla. Okay, we're bringing that back. The cinnamon and the nutmeg. We're bringing that all back in because what I'm about to do is, first things first. Remember how last time I said I wasn't gonna do y'all, I was giving measurements or whatever. And I told y'all later on, you can go in the description to see the, the goods. Well, this go around, I'm gonna have some measurements happening. How about that? So we're going to have, this is a half a tablespoon cause. So we're gonna do a half a tablespoon to one tablespoon no, I'm gonna do a half tablespoon. And I'm gonna let that caramelize a little bit with the butter and the peaches and things of that nature. So while I'm stirring that up, and keep in mind this is on a medium to medium high heat. But while that's happening, how are y'all doing, my loves? Hopefully this week hasn't been too stressful for you guys. It's been something else for me. But that's neither here nor there. We make do with what we got. I've just been super busy and trying to, you know, work on this and working on the podcast, working on the design parts of this channel, my brand, trying to get that all, you know, popping and such. So I, I've been busy. I've been busy this whole week. And I implore you guys... Find something th that won't distract you, I guess, from the bigger picture, which is financial freedom. That's what I'm gonna also practice on this channel, preaching financial freedom. In order to be able to do things you wanna do, you gotta have financial freedom, and that's the only, that's the only way. So we got a third of a teaspoon of cinnamon. If y'all could smell what's happening in here, y'all would be so like, y'all would mm, I don't know. Y'all might fall in love with me. And I'm here for that, because I'm all about love, okay? Valentine's Day is coming too. And 
you already know the vibes happy black history month shout outs to all of the black content creators this month i know we are trying to do the best we can get the word out on different facts and everything that has everything to do with black history month simple as that so nutmeg i'm not even gonna do a measurement i'm really gonna just do maybe a pinch of nutmeg because if you do unless you like nutmeg it's very overpowering if you put too much it can be almost like how cinnamon can be overpowering after a while if you put too much it can be soapy and although a girl loves to be clean i don't want soap in my gut you dig so yeah all right so i'm going to also do a third teaspoon of this mexican vanilla Ooh, if y'all could smell this if y'all could smell this yeah this is probably gonna the way i cut those french toast this is gonna be enough for two so one peach can literally be enough for two slices and because it's a small batch kind of channel and i'm a small batch kind of batch we gonna make sure that we you know make this happen so yeah and also if no one tells you today i love you you know the vibes there's something about that that people don't realize that i'm actually working on it, it is a i want to do more charitable work in the community so the bourbon because of course yeah it's gonna just be a nice little i'd say that was about a half no that was about a third of teaspoon i did a third too just keep in mind the alcohol is going to cook off and you, you're gonna smell that oh my god all of this together is just making such a beautiful creation i need y'all to know that okay i need y'all to understand like yes and it reduces down a lot i will say but you can do this too with apples so if you don't like peaches you can always chop up some apples and make like a little apple pie stuffed french toast i just blew y'all's mind i know so boom here we go you see that look at that look at that Sticky sweet, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna put this off to the side to cool down, or am I? No, I am. I'm gonna put this off to the side to let it cool down. Once I let this cool down, then I will come back and we will get the stuffing and we will get to frying it up. The French toast. You already know the vibes. It's about to be a good time. It's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be. Everything you want and need. Be right back. So, we are now on to this phase. You're gonna get your milk. You're gonna get your egg. You're gonna get some sugar. And what you're gonna do is the milk, I'm going to say, I can't believe this just happened, y'all. Plants make mistakes sometimes, but for whatever reason, this top on this milk was not tightened. That was my fault. Oh, it take a real player to admit though. You're gonna get about, I would say, a half a cup, a fourth a cup to a half a cup, depending on how thick your stuff is. And then one egg, of course, if you are vegan don't use an egg use the recipe i got below for the quick flax egg so now we're gonna whip these two things up together because this is actually going to make the dip for this okay now i'm gonna put about a half a tablespoon yeah it's about a half a tablespoon in this mix to kind of sweeten the outside you see what the vibes is boom it's kind of like eggnog basically going on the outside of this is eggnog so now what we gonna do is i'm going to move that back down i'm going to take and what i'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna pour this out. I would suggest don't use a paper plate like me, but today I'm gonna use a paper plate. 
I'm not putting a lot out there, so. But we're gonna pour a little bit because what we're gonna do is boom. Let that get in there. See how that coated? And then boom again. Let that in there. So now I'm gonna do that to these other slices. I also wanna do the bottom too, because why not? But I'm gonna do that to these other slices. And then I'm gonna show you something that I did and I'm gonna explain it. So make sure you watch this video through and through or read the directions because this is this is actually gonna take your French toast up even higher. You see, your French toast is here right now. I've already given you the peaches. They were here, now they're here. So the French toast is here. Now we, bought, we took it up just to taste. We try to pick it high to the sky. So what I'm gonna do is get this hot pan back in and then I'm gonna show you what it is. And then we gonna chat some up cause that's what we gonna do, yeah. Okay, so what I've done, I just scraped the peaches out of the pan, right? So now we just got them kind of sitting here. But I did not clean the pan because all of that sticky sweet gooeyness is about to be transferred to that piece of bread that I just showed you. I know. So that little eggnog concoction you created to put your bread in is now going to get caramelized and everything in the lovely juices and berries. Ain't nothing but ultra pan, okay? So as soon as this pan heats up, we gonna make it happen. While this is warming up, shameless plugs, time, you already know. Shameless plug-in of my friends, they invited me onto their podcast, Alex, Jose, Anthony. Anthony wasn't able to make it, but it was still a grand time. Go check my boys out, the Mama's Boys. They're on Apple Podcasts and Spotify Podcasts. Look, I can't even talk. Spotify Podcasts. You can check them out. They talk about an array of topics and they're really kind guys, so show them some love. You already know. Another shameless plug, Simply Sharky. I see you, girl. I see you. You're a new comer, just like your girl right here, and I'm gonna definitely be supporting. She's all about health and beauty and all that jazz, and I know her family, really cool, really chill. They're a whole vibe, so you, you should check her out. It's just that simple. Simply Sharky. I'm gonna make sure I put it in the description. Now that I got a few of those out the way, this pan is hot enough. Let's hear it for the sizzle. So we got that piece of bread. I turned it up a notch. You can also do this recipe in the oven. Um, just make sure it's like 350, 375. Do all the things that I've said to do, except this part. Or you could do this part and then let it cook the rest of the way in the oven but you would put it in the oven for like, I don't know, like 10, 15 minutes. Boom, got the French toast. So we're letting this, we out here hustling and doing what we need to do. And of course I'm putting off for people in the meantime and in between time, so there's that. Hopefully you guys would do the same for your friends. So now I'm gonna flip this joint over. Ooh. Look at that, look at that. That's what you want. Tell me what you want. Tell me what you need. Tell me this French toast is good enough, baby. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's gonna smack. So I'm gonna let that heat up a little bit more. I'm actually gonna cover this. I'm gonna put a top on that. I decided to pop in the gold too today. Yeah, I have an open gold front, so. Yeah, if that's what y'all seeing, that is what y'all are seeing. Or if that's what y'all think y'all saw, that is what you're seeing. You're seeing the teeth. So as that is warming up, I'm trying to get to a point where I'm getting more subscribers. The more subscribers I get, I am going to eventually release some merch. And the funny part is I have a plethora of designs just waiting to see the light of day. So it's just a matter of, you guys, spread the word, spread the love, tell the people so we can get the merch. Y'all gonna like the merch. And I'm actually working on something else that's gonna be super duper ooper live. And you guys are gonna be like, oh, she's tapped in. Baby, I've been tapped in, all right? If y'all could smell, this is smell like freaking peach cobbler in here, okay? So 
Now, word to the wise, I'm lazy. So I didn't feel like getting a spatula, but I implore you folks that are not me and that don't deal with hot stuff on a regular basis to get a spatula, a spatula in a <laughs> Mr. Krabs words, but make sure you get one because you don't want to burn yourself. But yeah, I do it. I know the hair should let you know I'm a wild child. Okay. Now. This part, I'm actually going to get the tongs. And y'all already know when the tongs come out, you got to clap them because it won't be official if you don't clap the tongs. So I'm going to stand this up like so. And I'm going to spread this a little bit, right? Here's what we're going to do. Begin to put this in there like so. Come on, y'all. Y'all got to, I wish y'all could smell this. You know what kills me is we come up with so many technological advances, but we have yet to have smell-o-vision. And if y'all could, cause if y'all could smell this, it's it smells like peach cobbler in my kitchen right now. So I'm gonna let that kind of heat up a little bit, kind of let it get all together. The funny thing is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell y'all something, okay? It's a secret. Speed Racer, apologies where I'm filming. They over here speed racing again. Be safe on these roads, okay? But anyways, sometimes I be coming up with measurements on the fly because I, I will know what how much to sprinkle, but sometimes I don't have the accurate measurement in mind right but i can eyeball it and i can tell you what it is it's that simple there's that but we're waiting on this it smells so damn good it's almost done that's the other side of the coin it's that easy because it's almost done and because it is almost done you know what's about to go down chef kid always has to plate the food and i gotta make it look gorgeous chef kids kiss gorgeous so I got the plate clean and it's ready. It's ready for this action. So here you go. to go down the one thing chef kid forgot was syrup but because as sweet as this is we don't even need it really let's see we about to take a little taste test because y'all saw the plating i ain't got no knife there's a little bit cheers baby won't you come my way mm. So good. Oh man. Mmm. Hold up. Hold up. Oh look. <laughs> what? Man, you don't even need syrup, honestly. Y'all already know the house rules what I'm about to tell you. Make sure you like. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification button so that way you can keep getting these recipes and keep getting this work and keep getting busy because you already know we're gonna come back with some more heat i'm concocting more things for the future episodes because we are on episode five today on two two twenty two and that means we only got like five more episodes and then that's season one and then excuse me i'm back in hiding you know making more recipes now get out of here skeedaddle bye and go make this, please and thank you. <laughs>